Welcome to Flash Tutorial 6, Objects Move Where Most Clicked, Part 2. And this, this is a follow-up to Flash Tutorial 5, which was Objects Move Where Most Clicked. But in this case, we're going to limit the number of times we can click it and move the mouse. Just something you may have a use for in, in a game or something you're making. I have that Tutorial 5 opened and it's just a matter of changing and adding some things to the to the action script. Select the actions layer, unlock the actions panel, click at the first line, put a couple enters in and an arrow up, a couple arrows up, and type this, type, 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 type. It's a variable. A variable is in this case going to be allowing us to take keep track of how many times we've clicked the mouse to move our object around the screen. So VAR turns purple, space, MC, capital M, capital C, SEL, capital select. So this is like movie clips select. Colon, capital N-U-M-B-E-R, number. As you start to type this, a drop-down menu will appear and you'll see the word number. You can just hit enter or you can type it completely through equals zero semicolon so when we start this variable going to start at zero now this add event listener we're keeping this and we're keeping this function but before we actually do what's inside the function we're going to do some tests so click right here after that first curly bracket a couple of enters and type 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 this code First of all, I have two forward slashes, and notice how this writing is a bit faded. That two forward slashes means either just comments and not uh, something that the code would read. So I have two forward slashes, and I says this code, this line here, allows one more move other than whatever it says. So it says less than or equal to four. In this case, I'm going to allow myself to click and move that square five places around the screen. If I wanted to move it ten places around the screen, this would have to be nine. One less than what's actually going to be moving. So I'm looking for five moves in this case. So I have if if turns purple, open bracket, that variable we just made, that max select, MCSCL, if that value is less than or equal to four, close bracket and we know it's less than four because we're setting it to zero to start so it'll keep going through this through this and through this and what we got to do now is increment increment this this max select so after this close bracket is this open curly bracket that open curly bracket is for this if statement so right here after we move it tell it to move put an enter and type in this code type 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 and that's this variable again max select plus plus semicolon that means add one to it so the first time we go through it it'll be zero this will be true so it'll make let the mouse move the the square the second time we go through it it'll still be uh, less than or equal to four but after we do five of these loops this statement won't be true anymore and then we have to do something else. In this case, we're going to just tell it can't move it or something. And we're going to do that with an else statement. So come right down to the very bottom here. Put in an enter, a couple enters, and type, type this code. Type, 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 type. Else, E-L-S-E, -E, turns purple. Open bracket. And as you write this trace, this close bracket will come in and maybe even this one, but you need two closed brackets at the end here. And in between this open curly bracket, these are curly brackets, after this curly bracket, before this one, we have trace, T-R-A-C-E, open bracket, and quotation mark, write anything you want, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. Again, there should be two closed curly brackets here. I'm just going to check here to see if I have any errors, obvious errors, check here. No obvious errors. Opening it back up. 
and let's just test that and see what happens. I should be able to click it five times. One, two, three, four, five. If I go again, it tells me not, not, can't happen. Then you could have something else happen, whatever you're doing with this. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.